Hi guys, it's Holly and welcome back to Smile by Holly. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this quick tutorial. So today we're going to be making uh, just a quick flip book mini album. And you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I love, 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 actually adore making mini albums and flip books. And this one kind of has a cute Halloween flavor. Um, what I've actually used, some of the things in this uh, album are some window clings that I just got from the Dollar Tree. And they're just, it's kind of like they're big puffy stickers and I've had so much fun just kind of playing around with those. And those are the popped out bats here. I've actually added a little bit of additional pop-ups, but don't you think they're cute? They have like a little bit of iridescent around their wings. And anyway, I, that's what that is. It's a window cling. And I thought that was kind of um, a fun idea to use those. But here is um, this mini Halloween flip book. Once again, I used a window cling and I just cut the little ghost in half and put half on one side and half on the other. I thought, you know, that was kind of a fun idea too. And then as you open it up, here's our little flip book. Um, on both end flaps, you've got a little flip up. Now, I just put these little um, embellishments here, but I think it would be so cute to either flip the page up and have a cute photo or to have a cute note or journaling in there. Uh, right here, I just have some repositional tape and I got these pre-made shakers at Joann's, you know, kind of in those dollar bins. And I just added the repositional stuff so my, the recipient that gets this can just go ahead and take this and use that cute little tag. Now right here we have a pull out card. I thought that was kind of fun. And just slips right down there in the pocket. And then over here we have a cute vellum pocket with some additional tags. And so it's just kind of a fun interactive flip book. And so we'll fold that up and tie it together. Now. You could actually add a magnet here that would hold that or even some Velcro. It's kind of a little bit puffy, so I wouldn't consider this flat mail, but um, you know, if you didn't decide to use Velcro or a magnet, then I would definitely use like a tie closure like that. Okay, so let's go ahead, set this aside and I'll show you how to make this. Now, not only is it a flip book mini album, but it's a one page wonder. And I think one page wonders are wonderful. I mean to take one sheet of card stock uh, and be able to make this entire album. I mean that is pretty dang cool if you ask me. So let's get started. Go ahead and take your piece of 12 by 12 card stock. I'm using some cute glitter doodle bug today. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, take your card stock and bring in your scoreboard. Now we're going to make two scores, one at four and one at eight. Okay. Then flip your paper and we're just going to score down the middle at six. Okay. That was it. We're done with the scoreboard. Now let's do some cutting, very simple cutting. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fold this on those lines in hopes that you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we have six boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to cut up the score line, two boxes. So cut up there and then cut up there, okay? So right on that middle six inch score line, we're just going to cut up that line to the second score line. Boom, okay. So that's what we have there, okay? Let's go ahead and fold our paper. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over and then we're gonna fold this over. Okay, I'm gonna crease it really good. And then flip it over this way and fold this one over and then this one over. Okay, so there is our cute little book. Now I'm actually going to fold it the different way because I wanted the purple on the outside. So I'm actually going to fold it on this side so I can have the purple on the outside. So let's just fold it again. So you fold this up, okay? Fold this over and then this over. 
flip it over, fold this over, and then this over. Okay, look at that. So stinking simple. Now, it kind of comes apart right here, but that's okay because that is where we are going to glue it. We're going to glue it right here and then down the back, okay? Just because we want this to be a pocket. Does that make sense? So before I do that, I'm gonna take my little hole punch here. It's my circle punch. I'm gonna punch a circle. And then let's actually glue this. So I'm gonna bring in my glue. When I make pockets, I think it's a really good idea to use just wet glue. But do you see how if we go ahead and glue the side down, that's gonna make just that cute pocket there. So I'm gonna open this up. And I'm just gonna glue the side here. Thin bead of glue, just a thin bead. And then the bottom. And I'm gonna fold that together and just kind of push on it. One sheet wonders are so fun. Have you guys made them? Do you think they're just awesome? Okay, so there's our little uh, pocket in the middle. And then we've got our two sides that fold over and then the album that folds closed. So fun. I gotta glue that together just a little bit better. It's coming apart. I probably should wait for that glue to dry first for a minute. So what are you guys up to today? What are you crafting? You know, middle, of October, um, I think it's so fun to do Halloween crafts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I had taken another one of these cute window clings and I just cut it in half. We're going to put him right in the middle. Isn't that a cute little monster guy? I think it's fun because then it's like, ah. <laughs> complete with sound effects. You don't get that very often, do you? Okay, um, before we start doing the decorating, let me just show you a couple things that I did. So here's that fun paper that I just love it because it has so much color on it. Um, and then I just cut regular pieces of white cardstock. I think this is five, yeah, five by three and a half which fits just perfectly under there for a photo or journaling. But what I'm gonna do really quick is just score both of these little papers at half an inch at the top, just so it can be like a fold down. So right here, that'll fold down nicely and make a little flip up flap. So just a half an inch, I like to do my folds at a half an inch. And let's go ahead and get those down. Gonna line that right up square with the top of the paper, which leaves a little tiny gap right here, which I like. And this paper, you can see it's kind of cracked and you can see a little bit of white in there, but I think that's just fine. Sometimes when you score, if you push too hard, your paper cracks. And it looks like that's what's happening today. Just keep that in mind. I think it'll be just fine though. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a simple little white piece for whatever you would like, whatever you would like. And I I'm just adding just a quick little embellishment in the middle, a little, just a little cutout. But I actually think this would be so perfect for a thought or a cute poem or, you know, something like that. These are just um, cutouts from uh, one of the Doodlebug collections. Oh, he's cute, he's cute. So just kind of simple uh, 
putting these together. I'm gonna bring in another one of those tags. Aren't those tags cute? Pre-made little tags with some re repositional dots. I think that just goes so cute right there. I think maybe it's the colors. You know, this has all the colors and then that has all the colors. It was talking to me. It was talking to me. Okay, I've just add some re repositional tape on there. Um, let's go ahead and make a vellum pocket. So I'm just going to cut it. Actually, I already have. I've cut it the exact size. And this is just going to be a simple pocket. So this is four by two and three fourths. And we're just going to add a tiny little thin bead of glue on the sides and the bottom. And this will dry clear. You'll see the glue at first, but it will dry and you won't be able to see it. I think using vellum is fun. I don't use it a lot, but I think it just adds a nice kind of effect. So then when you stick your tags down in it, you can kind of see through the pocket. And I like that. I'm just going to make sure that bends. Let's grab us some tags. And that'll just slip down in that little pot. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Look at that bone appetite. <laughs> so funny. Okay, we'll slip that down there and that down there. Oh, just super cute. I think I'll add a few little stickers. These were just some glitter stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'd like that Halloween there, but that won't fit. So that's okay. We will just add, I think we'll add a boo right there. And then we'll add a boo down here. Okay, and then I just took um, a pre-made card. You could just certainly take some paper and cut it down. Added some of the paper that kind of coordinated. And I'm just going to cut that a little bit down so it goes into my pocket nice and easy. Let me tell you the measurements. So I have cut this down to five and a fourth by three. Let's get that pocket open there. Oh yeah, that's cute. You can just pull that right out. So that just decorated super fast. I love how that little guy comes together. Let's add a few fun things on the front. Um, of course I have a glitter bow. You know, these little uh, spider webs are actually glittered. So I'm gonna use this silver glitter bow. It's funny when I don't put bows on my projects, people go, Holly, are you okay? <laughs> I love it. These are just some stickers from, let's see, it looks like Recollections. I thought I would pull out the spiders because the spiders here. Oh yeah, that is so cute. This little spider has a candy corn in its mouth. So we'll put, I think we'll put him there and move him over here. Oh, yeah, that's really cute. Okay, let's add just a sequin in the middle here. I keep these little flower sequins just right on my table and I use them when, you know, some my project needs like a little bit of bling. It's just perfect for it. <laughs> So anyway, oh, that's really cute. Those spiders are cute. Um, I think in retrospect, I would probably pop them up just to add a little bit more dimension. But for now, I think they're going to be fine. Okay, so let's bring in both of our cute albums. What do you think? Let's open this up. We've got our little monster there. That opens up. We've got our two flip-up flaps. We've got our little shaker tag with repositional tape there that's easy to come off. A little tiny vellum pocket with some tags and then a pull out card. 
all made from one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. Oh, love it, love it, love it. What a super fun idea. Look how cute those are. <laughs> anyway, I hope that maybe I've given you a fun idea for a one sheet wonder flip book mini album. So happy Halloween. I hope you have a fun crafting day. Hey, and if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. So have fun and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.